Hi everyone, I'm going to do a Sunday School lesson today for you. I'm going to be reading from this book. What is this book? This is the Bible. The Bible is God's Word. And if the Bible contains God's words to us, we need to read it so we know what He's telling us and how He wants us to live. Well, in the Bible, in the book of Matthew, it tells about when Jesus taught the disciples how to pray. He said, when you pray, you can praise God. So do your hands like this, praise God. You can ask God for your needs. Pretend to eat our daily bread. You can ask God for our needs. We can ask God to forgive us. Can you do that? Put your, put your hands together and just shake them. Forgive us. And also help us to forgive others. And we can ask God to help us make good choices and live the way we should. Thumbs up. Good choices. Ask God to help us make good choices. And then we could close it out with something like maybe, I love you, God. Amen. So let's do that again. So praise God when we pray. Ask for our daily needs. Ask God to forgive us and help us to forgive others. Ask God to help us make good choices. And then we can end our prayer maybe with something like, I love you, God. Amen. Well, let me kind of talk about one part of that prayer, forgiveness. So let's just say that you have a special teddy bear and your brother or sister or friend or cousin comes along and takes your teddy bear. Would that make you sad? Can I see a sad face? That would make us sad, wouldn't it? But what if that brother, sister, friend, or cousin came back and gave it back to us and said, I'm sorry. It might be easy to say, huh, you shouldn't have taken it in the first place. I don't want to be your friend anymore. But the Bible teaches us that we need to forgive when someone says they're sorry. So the right answer would be, I forgive you. Well, what about with God? Sometimes we do things that aren't what God wants us to do. And we need to say we're sorry. And guess what? God always forgives us when we stop and say we're sorry. So let's do a little game. I'm going to do my hands like this. Stop. Can you do that too? And pray. Put your prayer hands together. Stop and pray. When we do something wrong, we need to stop and pray. We need to ask God to forgive us. And guess what? He always will. He always does and he always will. Let's do that again. We're going to remember when we do wrong to stop and pray and ask God to forgive us. And we're going to remember that we are going to be quick to forgive others when they say they're sorry too. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little Bible talk and I'll see you next Sunday. Goodbye.